Hi Panda here, a Nintendo have had another Direct. The Nintendo Direct in February of 2023 was jammed pack full of great game announcements and updates so much that it's taken us a while to choose which are our top 5 highlights and I'm really torn on some of them but here are my choice of top 5 highlights from the Nintendo Direct 2023. Pikmin 4 is looking fantastic. I absolutely loved Pikmin 3 on the, the Wii U and this looks even better. I kind of like the new camera angle, that's a little bit different. Uh, visually it looks impressive. Same range of Pikmin, go and defeat some enemies, bring back some things to the spaceship, either bring back the enemies that you've defeated or those round circular items that help you get more Pikmin. Um, I like the range of Pikmin they got here and especially this new dog that can help you swim about and do other things. So I think that's great. I think they've just taken everything they've done previously, kind of just improved on it from what I can see visually. And overall, just has a great Pikmin vibe. So I'm really looking forward to deep diving into this, seeing what they've added, what's changed, and just the overall flow. I hope they bring back some of the extra modes they had last time. There were some good co-op modes and some bonus challenges. And it'd be nice to see what other extra tweaks, because this is Nintendo. When they release a new game in the series, they've always kind of like, added new things so I wonder if they've put more than just the dog but otherwise so far that dog looks amazing and Pikmin 4 looks fantastic so I'm really looking forward to picking this one up. Metroid Prime Remastered is a remaster of the GameCube classic Metroid Prime. So Metroid Prime was the first foray into 3D for the Metroid series and wow did it do it really really well. This game visually is impressive, gameplay is impressive, so they swapped it to a first person shooter but it's more about exploring the environment, finding where you're going, collecting unlockables, but this version they've given you multiple control options as well so it handles like a traditional first person shooter as well, but you need to go around and scan the environment. The music's top notch, the visuals, being able to use the morph ball, I remember going to check out the original at a preview event and I played it and I was like, I think I barely played any other games at the preview event because I was that hooked to Metro Prime. It just has such a good beginning. It sets the tone and I'm really looking forward to playing the HD remaster. So the rumor been around a while that Game Boy, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance games were coming to the Switch and the Nintendo Switch Online. But it was still a big surprise when we saw what a great selection. So there's not loads at the moment, but we do have a handful of titles. Some Mario games, a Mario Kart one, Kiri Kiri Kirin, which I'm really looking forward to. And what I do like here, there's a selection of filters as well. So some of those original Game Boy games, if you put in the color, did have an option for like the color version, but you can choose which of the filters. Also, it's nice to have Game Boy Advance games to play as well. And I just think overall, this just adds to the already great catalog of retro games, because some of these games are really hard to get. and Unless you've got a GameCube set up with the Game Boy Player, playing them on the big screen as well is also a bit of a nightmare unless you've bought them on the Wii U, which unfortunately the Wii U shop is closing soon as well, so the chances of playing those Game Boy Advance games. Time is running out, so this is a great solution. It'd still be nice at some point if Nintendo let you buy these games and not just have them on the online thing, but you know what? At least we do have access to them at the moment, so that is fantastic. And I'm looking forward to um, adding even more games to the selection. Dead Cells Return to Castlevania looks amazing. I love Dead Cells, I really love its style and the gameplay, although I do need to go back and finish it at some point, but I also do love Castlevania. I love the nostalgic feeling of Castlevania, I love the aesthetics, the characters, the enemies, and especially the music. And I love how they've brought all the elements of Castlevania, but put it in the Dead Cells world. So we still have this Dead Cells art style, but blended with like the environments and characters and music from Castlevania. There's not much else to say, this just seems like a great combination and I kind of wish I want to see more of these like crossovers in this style more than like the fighting game crossovers. This type of crossover is different where you've got a particular game or genre and they're taking on a classic franchise and putting a slight spin on a bit like how Crypt of the Necrodancer did with The Legend of Zelda. So I'm really looking forward to this and it's definitely made me want to go back and play some Dead Cells. 
This is an interesting one, a Disney Illusion Island where you can play as Mickey, Minnie, Goofy or Donald. What I found really interesting about this is kind of like it came out of nowhere. I wasn't really aware that Disney was going to get back into the games in this amount. So obviously we've had Disney Dreamlight and they do seem to be making their approach back into video games. But this looks great. It's got a really cool art style, something a little bit different. It's a four player co-op platforming game in the style of what I probably class as similar to Rayman or Rayman Legends. So you can play from one to four people. There seems to be like a variety of abilities, environments. Like it might not do anything brand brand new, but having a Disney game and this style of gameplay, and we don't get too many of these four player co-op platformers very often. So I think just having the Disney franchise and this style of gameplay and the art style really goes well together and hopefully it'll be a great platform game. And wow, this might be the biggest surprise to me out of the whole Nintendo Direct. Samba de Amigo Party Central. Now it's been a while since I've played a Samba de Amigo game. For those unaware, Samba de Amigo is a rhythm game with maracas. First came out on the Sega Dreamcast. Uh, you had some maraca controllers and you had to go like directions and shake it in the rhythm at the right time. Then there was a Wii version, which actually you could get plastic maracas to put on your Wii remote and nunchuck. Um, that was also great. Uh, the Wii remote was a little bit not as accurate as you would want, but it was still great. And these are interesting rhythm games. Interesting for a series by Sega. This one doesn't have many releases. It fits into one of their categories, it's a bit like Jet Set Radio, where they make these really great games, but don't release many in the series. So it's really great to see Samba de Amigo make a comeback. So this one's Party Central. Gameplay looks the same, some new layouts and environments, but overall it still has that good rhythm action feel. There's not much to say about it from what you can just see from the gameplay. Hopefully there'll be some new songs, maybe some classics in there, maybe they'll add some different genres. We'll just have to wait and see some more on this one. And there you go, there's just a few of our favourite picks, highlights from the Nintendo Direct February 2023. There were far too many games to choose from and there are loads more great titles, but I'm waiting to hear some more information on those ones and we'll be checking out some of the most, more of those in the future. Uh, thank you for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and thank you to our Patreons and Twitch subscribers who help support the channel, and our donations at Ko-fi as well. So if you want to help support the channel, links in the description below, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Also remember to put what was your favourite game from the Nintendo Direct in the comments below. See ya! おとなしくしろ。武力兵器の使用は<笑><笑> それって完全に犯罪だぞ。これが犯罪だ。この狂った町では手段を選んではいられない。私服を壊す豚どもは一匹残らず排除する。<笑>